This ID. What does it um, make you feel like? It just hurts to my hand. It hurts in your hand? No problem. Okay. What you mean? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? I. Why are you taking a video of me? Because you are remember it for the rest of your life. I'll put it in my face. <laughs> so, this is how it feels like to, to be intoxicated. Just dream about eating some fish tea. Yes, you have to text dad about the fish. Yeah. Oh. Tucking your big old words, it might think it's a snake or something. All I don't think it's a snake, you know. No, it's just, it's just so big. Behind my head. It's so big. That don't make no sense. I don't know. I have two clothes in my eyes. It's so big. I don't want to. So they're heavy, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, it's oxygen. So you're in the oxygen. So oxygen is in the oxygen. Yeah, well, you're going to need like more of it. Don't try to get up. Deep breath. Relax. Where are you going? I just want to sit. <laughs> but why? Because don't, honey, you, you got a block. Do you know what a block is? What is it? A block in your knee. So they put an injection in there so that you don't have any pain. So you won't be able to like walk or really sit up either. Because, because this muscle goes all the way up to your your hip. I can feel the pain. You can? I don't feel pain. Yeah, well good. Well, I do. Well, I you do. Feel pain. Yeah, you shouldn't feel any pain at all. I don't. I like I should be able to take a knife and stab you. No. And then. Sure okay. I was taking a video of making sure I'm okay. I'm not 16, I'm 85. Oh. So when I'm 16, I'm going to be back on my 85 year old. Okay. okay. How are you 85 and I'm You're not, you're 165. Oh, shit.
certainly not least, Jalen Jones. <laughs> Um, I think Jay will agree with this, that she's not the most vocal. Maybe with me or the, during basketball, I'm not sure outside of that. Um, but she's not the most vocal person in the world when it comes to basketball. But her leadership speaks volumes by how she plays on the court. She's a, a when I say a leader by example, this is the, the person that I would show you is how to be a leader by example. I would show, I would say, look at Jay from the beginning of the season to the end. That's how you lead by example. When I first met Jay, she was coming off an injury. So it, it took a little while between me meeting her and knowing her and me seeing her in full action playing. And when I first saw her, I was completely blown away by her skill level and her ability. It was, I think I told her that day, I was like, you're like amazing. Like I don't know what else to say. Sorry, Maddie. Um, I I, I, <laughs> um, I just couldn't believe that you that you were you. Like <laughs> I didn't I didn't know what to expect. No one really told me how you play. No one told me like your abilities, your strengths. No one told me, and I had to learn that by literally watching you play. And I just my eyes got so big because I knew months down the line how important you were going to be to this team. And Lo and behold, you were like literally the glue to this team. And when you got injured, we knew about it. We felt it. And it was very, very tough for us. In practice, it was very, very tough for us in the game. And it's something that I would not wish on any coach to have a player like Jay be injured in a playoff game. It was the worst thing in the world because of how impactful your game is. And you don't have to be screaming, you don't have to be loud. You can't have 15 loud people. That, that doesn't even make for you know a good balance on a team. But you did exactly what you needed to do. You were you the whole season, and you never wavered from that. Um, I just want to tell you, I love you, Jay. Uh, oh, my memory, sorry. Um, my best memory is while working on her highlight tape early in the season, She we talked about it. She was like, Coach, I don't have any like three-pointers to put on my highlight tape. And I'm like, yeah, you need to like <laughs> shoot more. We need to get better at it. You need to get more confident at it. And we talked about it in depth. The next practice, um, I went over while we were doing a shooting drill, and I was trying to help her, like, make sure you jump a little bit, you know, bring the ball here a little higher, you know, just have be ready to shoot. You know, we talked about all of these things to, to not only to make threes for her highlight tape, but just to make her game more well-rounded. And from that moment on, she became literally one of our most trusted outside shooters to the point where almost every single game she's she hit one or two um, at clutch times too. And we talked about specifically a few of those huge three-pointers that she made. And it's not the, the three-pointers per se that is the memory, but it's the process of us talking about it, us working on it, and then seeing it come to life in the game so quickly after that. It speaks to how diligent you are, how determined you are to get better. And um, that meant a lot to me, it meant a lot to the team because you were so important. Um, so thank you, Jay, I'm gonna miss you so much and you're gonna do great things in this world, I promise. Thank you, Coach. Okay, I just wanna start off saying thank you to all of our coaches and all of the parents that helped contribute to our team. With this basketball season as a senior and it being my last year, I can honestly say I really enjoyed myself. As a lot of you know, before I came on the team, I was very quiet and shy. I did not talk to anyone. But as I played with these girls more and more, I was able to create great bonds. Everyone has made me feel so welcome, and I really appreciate that. As a lot of you know, in the past, we have always struggled as a team, and the fact that we could have these amazing coaches come in this year and help us show our true potential, it makes me so happy, and I'm so glad I got to have the experience I could from my last year to see. It's really crazy how fast time goes, and to all the underclassmen, please enjoy your time as a high schooler, and make the most out of it. If basketball is something you want to play in college or at a professional level, you guys can do it, but you need to take it serious now and work as hard as you can. Not even with basketball, but with anything you want to do in life, because time really goes by fast. To all the seniors, I hope you accomplish everything you want in life, and I really enjoyed these four years playing basketball with y'all. Love you guys so much. And lastly, 
And lastly, I want to thank my mom and dad for being my biggest supporters, coming to every one of my games and helping me become the person I am, and being there to help me with not just basketball, but with life in general. I will not be the person I am now without you guys, and I really appreciate and love you and everything you've done for me. Thank you. And number 24.